The Mobile Data Offloading Process Accelerator is designed to provide telecommunications companies and service providers with a starting point for implementing solutions to help decide when to automatically change the network being used by mobile devices. This solution is engineered to provide intelligence concerning when each individual device should be offloaded to an alternative network such as a Wi-Fi network operated by the telco or its partner companies. Usually this is a strategic location such as a sporting venue or a downtown metropolitan area. It also uses spatial capabilities to decide which alternative network is most suitable based upon proximity and coverage area. This process accelerator uses Oracle event processing with its embedded spatial capabilities to process the streaming data in memory to make efficient decisions on extremely high volumes of data. The monitoring dashboards in this solution allow us to see how the system is performing. There is a secure web-based interface that an administrator uses to configure the system. This administration console allows us to maintain the reference information needed for this solution. Areas of interest are defined where Wi-Fi or an alternative to the cellular network is available. First, we need to define an area of interest. You may choose to define area types to assist in the definition of the business logic for your solution. In this example, we will define a shopping mall area type. To do this, you should supply a technical code as well as the meaning. It is usually also beneficial to provide a description. After we have defined a new area type, we can proceed to defining the area of interest. From the list in the administration panel, we now choose maintain areas of interest and then click the add area button. Now we will define an area on the map that corresponds to a shopping mall in San Francisco. We will set any applicable effective dates and most importantly, the policy for this area. Defining a buffer distance helps us determine when a device is about to enter or exit an area. The active from and to dates can help you pre-configure the system for locations that are scheduled to have service in the future. In this version, the policy types are either wait or immediate. Immediate will attempt to offload the device immediately by finding the nearest tower and determining if it is within an acceptable range. The wait policy type requires that we first determine that the device has consistently remained within the area for the time specified before attempting to find the nearest tower. To define the area, which can be of any size and shape, we use the red line tool, which is part of the Oracle Map Viewer product. To define the area, we simply launch the red line tool and click on the map to define the points surrounding the area. When you are done, click on the last button and it will connect the first and last points on the map to to complete the polygon. Of course, when you're done, be sure to click the Save button to save your changes. You can then go to the dashboard to see your newly defined area on the map. Next, we define the Wi-Fi tower locations, including their range of coverage, for the new area. You can choose to do this manually, or you could choose an automated process or database script to insert this data into the database. This information is subsequently fed into an Oracle coherence cache so that it is easily and efficiently accessible in memory during the processing of streaming event data. Any solution you choose that populates the cache is acceptable. The Oracle coherence in-memory distributed data grid solution has been very tightly integrated with Oracle event processing to provide low latency access to reference data needed during event stream processing. In this case, the event streams are the device location events continuously being received. The Oracle event processing application is listening for changes to the Wi-Fi tower cache. Upon receiving a change, it indexes the tower location appropriately so that the tower location data is readily available for the processing engine. Now that we have an area defined with the Wi-Fi tower locations, we will use the load generation utility included with Oracle Event Processing to simulate the device location events. As the device enters the area, you will see an envelope icon appear when the individual device meets the policy requirements for that area. Subsequently, a red line connecting the device to a tower illustrates which tower was selected for that device. In a production implementation, the device locations are streamed into Oracle Event Processing from the telco's head end system. This process accelerator is not meant to replace any existing telecommunications policy management solution. It is simply meant to be used as a starting point for implementing this solution or solutions to similar use cases involving streaming data with spatial requirements. The Oracle Event Processing product is a standards-based open infrastructure. 
This will allow you to modify this solution as necessary, including integrating with any existing systems. We will take a quick look at the Oracle Event Processing Administration tool to view the event processing network that was created for this solution. The event processing network is visible at runtime to allow administrators who were not involved in, with the development to gain a reasonably good understanding of the processing that is taking place. Oracle Event Processing's dynamically modifiable continuous queries can call a variety of spatial functions integrated directly into the product. This feature eliminates the network latency inherent in traditional database spatial integrations and allows the solution to scale more easily. User interfaces can easily be developed to allow business users to dynamically make changes to the processing logic. Please contact Oracle to find out more about how this or similar solutions can be customized to benefit your organization.